I'm the Huge Fat Loser, and this is Meal Prep Monday. Today on the menu is spicy chicken teriyaki fried rice. Oh, it's going down. The first step of any good meal prep, clean your hands, you filthy animal. Next step is gonna be to lay out all your ingredients on the counter so you're not rushing into cabinets and whatnot, picking out ingredients when you're trying to cook things at different times. Right here we got the most important ingredient, chicken. I like to buy it in bulk, this way I have it for two weeks. We got some crushed pineapples. We got a teriyaki marinade, cherry tomatoes, boil in a bag, white rice, and smoked sea salt. He didn't just say smoked sea salt, did he? Yes, he did. It's time to prep the chicken. I recommend you get yourself a nice pair of good food scissors. All right, they're great for butchering, better for better than a knife. This way you can cut it up into small pieces and cut around the trimmings and everything else without you know throwing a lot in the garbage. You'll see I have three packages here. We're not going to use all three packages today. We're going to use a package and a half, and then a package and a half next week, which I'm going to freeze right now. I'm going to cut it up now, freeze it for next week, and then next week you'll see uh, an episode on preparing frozen chicken. This is a worst one. This we're cutting away all this fat. See, here they are all trimmed up. Most of the fat is off of them. Here's all the fat is. New tip. Food scale. Not just for drug dealers anymore. When you're done cutting up your chicken or about to use your chicken, weigh it out so you know exactly how many calories you're getting from your protein and how many grams of protein that you're going to be putting in your body in each meal. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to chop up the chicken. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut up the chicken into small little chunks using the same food scissor. I'm going to put it in this container right here, which is going to uh, be used for the marinade. Now, as you'll see, all the chicken's cut up here all nice like that. Now, we're going to add the spices for the marinade. First thing that we're going to add is we're going to add the pineapple juice only from this can of pineapples here. We're going to use the rest of the pineapple for some crazy shit later. The next thing we're going to put in there is sriracha. You can use whatever type of hot sauce you want. I like to use sriracha because it's not too overpowering with uh, vinegar taste. So, here we go. Bottoms up. Yeah. Of course you can't have teriyaki chicken without teriyaki sauce. And finally, add the smoked sea salt. It's time to close it up. And then shake it like it owes you money. There's also good cardio. When we're letting that marinate, we're going to start with the rice. I use boiling bag rice because I'm lazy and I want the quickest thing possible. And I know some of you guys do too. I only use two bags for all five meals. I divide it evenly amongst five meals. Fill with water. Now it's microwave time. Time to break up the big guns. I'm gonna set it to a low heat. Then we're gonna take our time mixture that we've been marinating this whole time. Dump it right on in there. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, damn, that's a lot of chicken. Damn right it's a lot of chicken. Papa needs his protein. We're gonna cook the chicken on low until it becomes a nice brown color. Uh, at the same time, the rice is cooking in the microwave. As soon as that's done, I'll show you the next step. Oh man, it smells so good. I couldn't really get a good video of me draining the liquid out because I needed two hands, but if you gotta drain the liquid out of the pan, if it gets a little too watery, drain it right into the sink. Well, the next step is to add these grape tomatoes. I like to cover it so it makes the grape tomatoes like nice and soft and it mixes right in with the rice and the pineapple and the chicken and it all becomes like one delicious flavor bomb of pineapple teriyaki. Just dump the can of pineapple right in there. And last but not least, put all the rice you got in there. You want to cover it up, put it on low heat. This way it all becomes cooked well and uh, it all blends together. Here we go right there. That's the, uh, that's the finished product. Now it's time to divide it up in Tupperware for the week. And that's it. That's the finished product. Enjoy. Do it again.